is up Shark Army, it's your boy Sharky and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is probably the most requested video I've ever got on my channel. I get hundreds of comments weekly asking to see a video of my Stardew Valley mods. Most of you are always asking, why does my game look like this? How do I download these mods that you're using? What are they called? Where do I find them? How can I make my game look as pretty as yours? And so on, I see this all the time. Everybody wants to know how to make their Stardew Valley look like mine on the PC version. And obviously these are visual mods. You can get mods for the PC version of Stardew Valley and I always like to make my game look a little bit different because there's lots of awesome visual mods out there. So today I'm gonna to showcase all of my visual mods and I'm gonna tell you what they all are. I'm gonna go through every single visual mod that I use always to make my game look as pretty as it does. I'm gonna let you know where to find them, how to download them, and then we'll go into the game and I'll showcase them all off. So yeah, if you've been wanting to find out what mods I use to make my game look like this, and then hopefully you're gonna enjoy this video. The website I use is Nexus Mods. So this is where we're gonna to go to find some of our mods. But the main ones I use, the first one is called Emi's Just A New Map Recolor. Now, you can't actually get this on Nexus Mods anymore it's been moved over to a, a website called mod drop so i'll put all the links down below in the description if you want to download them yourself but this is the main map recolor that changes the visuals of the game you can see some pictures here this is a more toned down more natural saturation to the game i always use this one i always have and the best thing about visual mods you can actually use more than one you can obviously mix a few visual mods together and you can go into the config and change what you want to see and what you want to replace etc so this is the main one that i use map recolor you can literally just press download here and you just drag that into your mods folder i'm not going to do a tutorial on on how to add mods to the game because if you don't know how to do that i have made lots of videos on that before i'll also put a link to the mod tutorial video in the description if you actually are new to modding and you want to uh, and you want to know how to mod, but I'm not going to do that in this video I'm just going to showcase my mods that I use so that's the first one map recolor by Emi and that's the name of it Emi is just a new map recolor and this is the content patcher edition another one I use this is also on mod drop as well I believe you can't find this on Nexus mods anymore I'm not sure why but this is called a toned down Stardew Valley now I use this and Emi's map recolor together they work well together this will change some of the buildings the interior as you can see it looks absolutely awesome and i will go into my configs and my settings inside these mods soon as well and i will show you uh, what i have selected and what i can't in fact let's do that now so as you can see this is my mods folder if you go into a toned down stardew valley there's a file here called config and if you edit this this is what my config settings are for the toned down stardew valley so this mod only changes the interior, nothing on the outside or external on the farmhouse, the trees, nothing. I have made everything false. So this mod I only use for the interior. But if we go inside Emi's map recolors, which is the first mod we looked at, if we go into the config on this setting, this is the settings I have chose. So this will change obviously all of the like the seasons. So you can change the spring color of the leaves and the fall color leaves. You can change the dirt color. You can change the grass variant and make sure your use world map recolor is on true because that will obviously change the whole map recolor, which is what we want. When you are on the mod drop website, it, if you read the description, it will tell you how you can config these and what options you can choose. So they are the first two main mods I use to change the newer, like the map recolor. So a toned down Stardew Valley, Emi is just a new map recolor. You can go into the configs and select what you want to show, what you want to not show. Now another mod that I use all the time for the visuals is a mod on Nexus mods called Flower Valley. This mod is awesome. As you can see from the images, all of the grass and the trees are around your farm and the town will now have blossom, will have flowers in them, and it looks incredible. And I also use this with a mod called Flower Grass and Snowfield. So we can use these two together. The Flower Grass and Snowfields mod adds a few more flowers into the grass. For example, the fall season will have some flowers in there. And these two mods work very well together. So that is called Flower Valley on Nexus mods and Flower Grass and Snowfields. You can also go into the config with these. This is my config setting for the Flower Valley. 
And the last main visual mod that I use to change like the recolors of the maps and the towns is called Earthy Recolor by Daisy Nikos. So this is what the mod is called. This is also on Nexus, there'll be a link down below. So this will just give you a more warm earth tone recolor. It's a bit more easier on the eyes. This also goes very, very well with all the other mods we've used. As you can see, this will change the colors of the paths, all of the like soil. I really, really like this mod. Uh, it changes within the seasons as well. And I will go into my config settings to show you. There's only two options and that is to enable the grass and also the dig spot. So there we go, they are my main visual recolors of the Stardew Valley. So your game is already gonna look very toned down, very natural, less saturated, very warm, earthy. You know, it's a, I like the way it looks. I know the original vanilla Stardew Valley looks awesome as well and it's very, very nostalgic. But this is what mods is all about. I like to support the mods and the modders and uh, it's nice to play the game and make it look a little bit different as well. So now I also use some seasonal mods as well. The seasonal villager outfits, this mod is incredible. This will change all of the NPCs in the game. It will change their outfits and it depends on the season as well. So if it's raining, they'll have coats and jackets on. If it's summer, they'll have vests on. It should, they, they have a different outfit on every single day, as you can see. All of the festivals have changed. Spring, summer, fall and winter and rain and sun, they'll have different outfits too. And not only does it change the way they look in the game, so they're walking around with these outfits on as well, all their portraits will also change depending on what outfit they use. It's such a good mod, it's one of my favorites. I recommend this a thousand percent. It's so, so good. And it's always getting updated too. Another seasonal mod that I use is the seasonal fences. So this mod changes the way the fences look and also they will add flowers depending on the season. So in spring it'll be green with a flower on there and autumn will have orange leaves, winter will have no leaves. And yeah, it changes the colour and the looks of every single fence in the game, also the gates. And uh, yeah, it goes well with all of the theme that I have. Now the buildings, how do I get my buildings to look the way they do? Well, this is all to do with a medieval theme from Gwen. So there is Gwen's Medieval Craftables, firstly, because this is going to be buildings and equipment. So all my equipment will look like this in the game. Very medieval, very less saturated. It goes well with all of the theme, just uh, as everything else does. And then also there is a mod to go with this called buildings. So there'll be medieval craftables and medieval buildings by the same person. And this will change the way my buildings look, as you can see on the images. Very well, it goes very well with all of the themes that we've got going on here and all of the mods. And you can go into the config settings and change, obviously, lots of options on this. You can make your buildings look a certain way. They give you more than one option. And this will change everything from your stable to your chicken coops, your ponds. Every building gets changed and it'll all look the same. So that is Medieval Buildings and Medieval Craftables by Gwen. I also changed the paths in the game. This obviously blends in completely with all of the theme we've got going on. So all the wood and stone paths will now look like this. So when you're designing your farm, it's gonna look a lot better. The paths will stand out if you don't use these ones. If you're using the vanilla ones, it's gonna look very odd. So yeah, this is called uh, New Paths by Twisters. Twisters? Uh, yeah, I'll put a link down below for that as well. Now one thing I forgot to mention which uh, was part of the main visuals and that is the interface. I do like to change, I changed the interface of the game. So this is obviously all of your UI, your time, in your options, the dialogue boxes. And I use this one, this is called the vintage interface and this is version two, there's two versions of this. I like the second one better. It's the same as every other mod we've got here. It's obviously you can tell it's all themed, it all looks like it blends together. Because like I said, if you're using all of these natural or like less saturated mods, a bit more earthy, the original vanilla UI and interface is gonna is gonna stand out like a sore form and it's gonna look odd. So it's, you've got to get all of these together to make it blend in and look very pretty. This is the mod here, vintage interface version two, content patcher. There'll be a link down below for this as well. Very, very good mod. Now there's a few more things and that's gonna be the furniture. I do get some furniture in the game. And this is the walls and floors by Yellogs. So this will change obviously all the walls and floors. It's gonna blend in, it's gonna look more pretty inside the house because obviously all the interface, all the exterior and interior has changed. So you're gonna want some floors to match that because like I said, the natural vanilla ones are very vibrant and saturated. It will look a bit odd. So that's the walls and floors by Yellogs. And I also get Yellogs furniture as well. So this is the beds, the all the uh, 
all the sofa, the tellies, all of the interior furniture will also change and it goes well with the walls and floors and the whole theme. If you go into files on this, there's two options. There is the Yellogs furniture and there's also the kitchen and the bed. Make sure you get both of those and that will sort out your interior if you want it to look like this. Of course, there's loads of other mods out there. Next is gonna be the animals and this is very simple. I use all of L's or Ellie's new animals. When you search L or L's, all of the animal mods are here. There is the new barn animals, the new coop, there is the horses, the cat and dog replacements, there's the critters and butterflies, you know, all the pets. And I've changed all my animals to look like these. Obviously, they look a bit more, you know, natural, realistic. They go with the theme, of course. And there's a load of options on these animals as well. You can change completely the way your animals look. All the different skin colors, the patterns, the fur. You can make your animals look very unique and awesome. So I do recommend these animal mods. And I get them all from the same person. Elle's new animals. I also do the pets too. So that is all of the, vis the visual mods. The one thing that I do now do in the game as well is the animations. There's now a mod that animates a lot of the items in the game. For example, all of the fish, all of the gems, the mining, the weapons, the furniture, the buildings, everything animates, even the trees and the grass. This just makes the game look incredible. I love the way things move, like smoke will come out of the buildings, the fish will wriggle around. It's very atmospheric and uh, I, just, I just love it. So yeah, I'll put all of the mods in the description all of the animated mods that I use because there's quite a few. All you need to do is make sure you download the, the main mod called Content Patcher Animations. You'll download this. This allows your allows your animation mods to work. And then if you go into requirements on the mods requiring this file, these are all the mods that are animated, which you can have in the game. This is my mods folder. So all of the game all of the mods that I've shown you, they're basically here. They are in the game. This is in my Stardew Valley mods folder. They should be working. It should be fine. Let's get into the game and see. And already, as you can see, the interface has changed. This is the new visual for the interface. I love the colors. It's like I said, it's less saturated and it's gonna be very well with all of the other mods that we've got. So the interface is the very start to all of this. So here we go, we are in the game. We're in my, we are in my little starter cabin and straight away you can see the furniture, the beds, the telly, the shelf, the tables. I've all changed, also the fireplace, the walls, the floors. This is the furniture, this is how it looks like in my game now. You can change the floor to whatever you like. We've got a few more wallpapers here, we can see how they look. We've got the green one, we've got it all oh, like that, very, very clean. And of course there's floors too, always a nice wood wooden floor there, or a carpet. So let's go out on the farm, we are in winter so this is going to be a little bit hard to showcase but at least you get a good idea of what winter looks like now. So of course you can see the animations, the trees and the grass moving. Winter now has a nice grass with all these dead flowers in there which gives it a very realistic vibe. All of the flowers that should be there obviously are all dead. I love that. The animals have changed of course, these are my pigs. They look a bit more cuter because of course the old pigs in the game are very ugly in the natural vanilla game. As you can see the flowers and bushes have now got like blossom in there. The buildings obviously are covered in snow. But I'm gonna go ahead, oh here's the horse, the horse has been replaced and also the dog, I've changed the dog. But I'm gonna skip into spring so we get a good idea of how this looks properly. It's just easier for me to load up a save file which we're already in spring. So look at this house, this has been fully upgraded. This is some of the furniture that's been changed as well. So this is what the big house will look like. Even the paintings are animated, that is crazy. Okay, let's get out to, onto the farm. So here we go, this is kind of what it looks like in spring. You can see the fences, the soil's a lot darker. Ooh, got some giant crops. All of the craftables have changed, the spring, the sprinklers. Here's the grass with the flower, very, very pretty. All of the buildings, I've just noticed that the wells aren't working with the mod. They're animated, as you can see, it's moving up and down but for some reason the visual mod for the well is not actually working. I believe you actually have to download the well mod separate for the medieval. So if you just type in medieval well, you have to download that separate. I don't think it comes in the actual mod folder. That's actually why. So yeah, there's the buildings. Look at the horse with the Santa hat on. Love that. All of the craftables have changed. The floors. Oh, it's a festival day today. So the animated trees have got like banners on them. I love that. The greenhouse is looking awesome too. Everything's animated. Look at the slime watch, the chimney. I just love the visual mods in this game. It's so good. 
And here we go, we are in the festival, it's the egg festival today. And this is what the town looks like, the buildings have all changed here too. All the grass, all the NPCs, look at them in their festival outfits. In certain outfits, depending on the, the like I said, the seasons, the days, and also festivals, look at these. And the portraits have changed too. So Jodie's looking very, very, like, Easter vibes going on here with the spring. Look at Emily, what the hell is she wearing? Everyone's looking awesome, everyone's looking cute. The seasonal outfits is one of the greatest mods ever. But yeah, there we go guys, those are the visual mods that I use in my Stardew Valley. That's why my game looks the way it does, because this is the mods I use. I'll put all the links down below if you want your game to look the same as mine. And then yeah, download the mods, get them installed, and you will have a blast. This is me fully zoomed out, it just... The farms and the game look so much better like this, in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with the vanilla, of course. I've played that for years, but just, just seeing it like this, oh, it just makes the game even more prettier than it is. Who'd have thought Stardew Valley could get any prettier? Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully all the comments stop now of people asking me to show uh, all the mods I use. I did used to use a lot more visual mods than this, but I have shortened it down now. These are the ones that I seem to always have in the game. I don't remove these, and I'll always update them as well. These visual mods are what I stick to all the time. Of course, they're not cheap. Eating. It doesn't really add anything new to the game. This just changes the way the game looks. So it still plays the exact same. But I am going to wrap that one up there. We are out of time. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you're new around here as well. If you want to see more Stardew Valley content, you definitely want to make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Especially when the 1.5, the new update drops. We're going to have a blast on here. So yeah, thank you all for watching guys. Make sure you all stay safe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. And peace.